just to debuff all of these silences. Actually, yeah, yours is really good, especially against Ember Spirit, because as well, you can take yeah, off yeah, the yeah. Flame Guard, so yeah, I'd be surprised if we don't see at least one. They should get some TP rotations up here, and they will. Yapsaw looking to try and get a kill. There's no TP available on Nisha, but can they pick up the kill? He gets a hit, and they do survive. Mortal fucking. And they've got an Aegis on their Shadow Fiend, so... Yeah. It's, it's not pretty. This is it. Let's see what the That's, answer is. Yeah. Straight in with the Fiend's Grip, there is going to be the Glimpse to cancel it. Now the TP's coming back, so they are ready to defend him under Freedom Fighters. Nico Baby's coming in with a slide. They can still probably get the tower. Like they he they got Forge Spirit. He stands there, the SF. He's, yeah. he's not scared at all. He's back at, you know, so much HP. They could probably get a few more right clicks on it. And if they keep doing this, this yeah. could be a tower down. And if they back off, I'd be pretty disappointed. I mean, with the Weave as well, he's just consistently sitting in above 20 armor at this point. Again, 22 minutes in, so... Boom. <laughs> really nice. Yeah. Really, really well played. I mean, Fiend's Grip was down, but they were still scared MFF to yeah. go in. And now they're looking to potentially chase. They're actually going to find the Dazzle Nisha, but they can't go for it. Oh, look at this and smoke as well. Up. Just in case anyone comes out thinking that the Dazzle's on their own. But now they just reveal This is it. risky, though. They'll go to the right. I think they're still fine. Well, this is where it can get really dangerous for them, because you have to Aegis invest... and BKB. You have to invest so much closer to actually um, get damage on this Rex compared to the Tier 3. That if they get to open up on your support in a good way, it could make a huge difference. But man, Nico Baby, he's so low on HP, he's going to have to go back to base. And the back world door regen's kicked in, so they're looking for the perfect moment to go. And oh, here it is. Fuck. They get just a silence, and they're going to back off. Yabzor's looking for a wraparound here, but he's, they're going to see him now, and they might just turn and try and kill the Night Stalker here. He's running actually, in fact, straight up for the asset, but he turns around, gets a punch to the face here from Zasu, getting burst down by the Brain Sap, and now with the Snowball moving in as well. That's going to be the Night Stalker taken down here. Static Storm and Dream Coil have been dropped, but Exotic Deer pops the BKB, the Rec Room, turns around, tries to get the hits onto Necro. Necro incredibly low. Oh, One more yeah. raise will finish it off. They'll get the puck here as well. Bottom racks have been cleared out, and I mean, as we we're saying, there's just Sing Sing's team don't have an answer for this kind of aggression at this point, and ATN are just walking all over them in the base. Uh, it's um, balls of steel, man. These guys are insane. They're actually going to drop their SF. I would actually grave him, yeah, I was going to say. It would be worth probably just like graving him and um, potentially just allowing him to take down the tower, he's, but he's the Forge Spirits are doing well. work on the tower. He's just going to get back in and, and no Aegis been popped. And Nico Baby takes so much damage. Mm. He literally has nothing in terms of being able to stay alive apart from a bottle. Sunstrike hits pants, doesn't get the kill. Nico Baby looking just to try and get some damage in with his sleight of fist, but still he's pretty weak. And they have dropped the SF kind of low, but still they can go back in and it's going to be round two, but they haven't got ultimates. There's no ultimates apart from Legion Commander's duel. And this is the worrying thing. Exotic Deer getting a little bit low here, but still the Dazzle keeping him up and alive. Yep, so looking for the Void to finish him, and they will manage to pop the Aegis now. And he's going to move up for round two. The question is, can they fight? Blink it for the Necroman here. Gets the Silence Hunter 3. He's going to back up, by the way, on the SF. He does not give a fuck. He should just go. And they've still got the Fiend's Grip. It's come back online. Uh, this might they've be got good. No can they mana. get the chase down? Can they get any of these kills here as they try and push them back? Nice stream call on to do, but there's the BKB being popped by SF straight away. Necroman will... Jump back up to the high ground. They did manage to get Goodbye, the kill onto yeah, the Bane, but they're going to lose Yapsor for it. Now with the Snowball moving in onto Nico Baby. Nico Baby pops the Searing Chains. Will Waltz back now with the Shallow Grave on Sasasu, keeping him alive on the Tusk. Turns around, gets the punch off, and oh, Nico Baby remnants away, but doesn't disjoint the right clicks from Shadow Fiend. They'll get the Ember Spirit as well, and now ATM will look to try and take the middle racks, and I think at this point... Shadow Fiend's going to walk away with 5.5k gold oh after um, clearing out the middle wave and the in. other racks. So mm -hmm. his next item choice yeah. how are you going to handle him next time round sure it was the Aegis but it really wasn't the Aegis I mean they're going to try and pick up a killer onto the Invoker they, they don't have vision. any vision they're going to drop her sentry but of course he's going to be able to get out he's also re-invoked uh, Ghost War so we can do Mr. and Biz again they do have a jewel available so they could catch him there comes a the Ghost War Where's the and detection? no sentry yeah. and he gets a <laughs> blink dagger delivered <laughs> after the fight is oh, over so right? No, Two racks down, MFF. Oh boy. Loom, let's have a look at the grass. The difference has got to be pretty big after that. Yeah, look at that difference. Coming up to 16,000 in terms of net. Oh, they get the glimpse back onto the SF, but they don't catch him in the field. And yeah, uh, oh, Meteor gets dropped down. Deafening Blast will clip the Ember. They'll set look him up here with the Bane. And he, look, he's, 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 he's got the Fiend's Grip. He should go for it. He should just turn around and be like, yo, what's up, bitch? Oh, waiting for the silence. 
Grave him, grave him, and then he can feast. And now it. he can turn. Grip. Oh, onto Necroman, but those the oh, stack nice. there to yep. cancel it. But it's used. It's like it's used now. So yeah. it's like sure you had a little bit of defense, but now you've wasted your static storm, yes. and the only ulti you have again is Jewel. Like, and the team's just going to heal up. Dazzle's just going to bring them all back to health. Even the Bane is going to be able to brain sap the creep. Um, sorry, the uh, neutrals, and you're back in the same position, but this time it's even worse. Yeah. He's got a dear front running it. Looking for the tier three. Snowball's actually going to lead through straight onto Sing Sing. Now the silence is actually. There's your first duel. Can he win it? Yes. And oh, oh, the shallow grave. He can't even win the duel, unfortunately, for Sing Sing. He's been definitely blasted up. Being forced back as well. Nico Baby moving him with Necroman. There's going to be the remnants in. But the blink away was there from Bane. Now Exotic Deer looking for the ultimate, will get it off. They have lost two on side of the rating, but Exotic Deer is looking for the cleanup. He finds himself a double kill here. There's going to be a buyback from, oh, from the grave. Nico Baby, but yeah, this, this Dazzle has been doing so much work. And now Nico Baby did buy back for this, will be able to get the kill. The blink forward here from Supreme, moving forward onto Nico Baby. He's dropped down a remnant. Bane just looking for the brain zap, couldn't quite get it off. The yeah, two heroes down now on the side of the diet. They are half a racks away from being mega creeped. They they might get it. Oh, but again, this dazzle. I've got to be honest. This performance has been top notch. They'll be able to get him. They got a sentry ward. Are you sure? No. The slightest <laughs> fist gets negated. He's going for a oh, no, searing the, chains. The, does hit the cold snap. And he does get the kill. Grave. Oh. Three second cooldown. But to be honest, it's Forge Spirits winning the game. MVPs. They're just letting Paz sit there. That's really depressing. And they actually. Yeah. Oh my. That's disgusting. Invoker gets the kill with the Forge Spirits after a nice. Uh, it's over. Wave. Only oh. it's only game. Why do you have to be mad? Thanks, man. Well, there we have it. So Sing Stack is out. They are out of the tournament. They will not be qualifying for the qualifiers for the majors. And well, ATN, I think they just played really well.